Assalamu alaikum in this video we will going to learn how to use block move instruction in tia portal so it is actually a move instruction that we can use like a simple loop instruction that is available in tia portal but the difference is that it can be used to transfer data from one pointer to the other pointer let's see what it is so we have here uh, created a new project and we have block added block move instruction so let's add the pointer to a memory location let's say we want to move the pointer of having data of m100.0 of two bytes means we have the starting address of m100.0 and we want the data of two bytes of from it and we want to move this data to m50.0 2 bytes so this data will move to this location this is the error address we let's say we put a random memory location now let's see how it works Let's download it into our simulation. Let's open up PLC Sim and I am going to add some simulation blocks. I've added M hundred point zero sorry M B hundred in bits and the second bit sorry byte address will be M B one oh one and third byte will be mb102 and the second location is the output location m50 so we will be using mb50 mb51 mb52 now let's run the project and see what it's going to happen now we activate mb100 bit and the address and the data is moved to mb50 now let's here we have added two bytes so we can change up to two bytes so the second address will be since a byte is of eight bits to so second bit the second address will be mb101 of 8 bits so we have activated a bit of mb101 and the output is also of 2 bytes so it is went to mb51 now let's check if it is moving mb102 bits and it is a no mb52 is not changed so this is how a blk move instruction works in tf portal now let's see if this thing works in simple move instruction now let's copy this and it 
is not able to utilize this instruction point instruction so this is how a blk move instruction simply differs from a simple move instruction thanks for watching